Game Builder Studio. All right, let's cover setting up a sprite sheet. In the project you downloaded in the resources folder, you should see a Hungry Hero Sheet JSON file and image file. Now I want to show you how to uh, create this briefly. Uh, I use Texture Packer. It's a free program that you can uh, find on code and web.com. They also have a paid version, so support these guys. Um, this is one of the easiest ways to create um, a sprite sheet. And the sprite sheet, as you can see, pretty much just takes a bunch of frames, packs them, uh, bundles them into one large image um, that can be used in Game Builder Studio and reused um, over and over um, by sampling individual areas from the frames and uh, from from this image and utilizing them uh, in a sprite sheet render. As you can see, all of the uh, frames of the hero animation are in here. Uh, the food items, the buttons, the different um, uh, ships, and and the uh, labels for the for the main screen are in here. Uh, one key thing you you're going to want to uh, remember is to number and label your individual frames um, sequentially. This is important for Game Builder Studio because it, it uh, when you're setting up your sprite sheet animations, you want to be able to specify animations from um, the start of the sequence um, all the way to the end. You don't want to have these all mixed up. Um, uh, the other key point here is uh, the data the data format needs to be a JSON array, not just a regular JSON file, and uh, you need to export a PNG. Now you can set this to export directly to the resources folder or to whatever folder you want, um, but this is already done for you. Uh, you also want the image format to be RGBA, uh, your DPI to be 72. Um, the size constraint of power of two, um, you want to make sure this is uh, selected as well. Um, the graphics cards, a lot of graphics cards require images uh, to be um, in a power of two size uh, on both sides, width and height. So um, you want to make sure that's selected. And sort by name also is uh, what I what I have selected here. You can. Uh, change the algorithm and what have you if you'd like. Um, and I'll show you in a later video how to use this sprite sheet in Game Builder Studio uh, with a sprite sheet renderer. It's also important to try to keep your the file sizes of any of your assets in your game, whether it's sprite sheets or, or individual images, to below 2048 by 2048 um, in width and height. You know, you, you can go uh, larger than this for devices like the iPad uh, Retina display um, that are higher resolution uh, devices. But if you're not targeting that device or you don't need, um, uh, you know, you, you don't need something that, that large, you want to try to keep your images, um, you know, for compatibility um, across devices and across different platforms. Try to keep them below. Um, 2048 by 2048 there uh, there will be a setting for you to um, change inside of uh, Game Builder Studio you'll be able to change the settings to allow you to use larger images and it has to do with the GPU um, profile and that'll be something I'll cover later but um, just keep in mind to try to keep your, your images as small as possible so if you have a ton of images just break them up into, into different sprite sheets if you have to uh, if things start to get larger uh, than this size. Another thing you'll notice is I don't have any of the background layers um, in this sprite sheet. I could have included them in here but in Game Builder Studio we're going to use for this game a scrolling render um, and the scrolling render does not render sprite sheets so I left those out as individual images. 